Have you ever wanted to create a podcast but just didn't know where to start? In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an amazing new platform that takes all of the pain and difficulty out of the whole production process. It's called Podcastle. It's available only for Chrome users at the moment, but the mobile app will be launched on iOS in mid-October. To get started, all you need to do is go to the podcastle.ai website, sign up for a free account, and you're ready to start on your podcasting journey. The free account gives you access to all of the features, including high quality audio interviews, 45 minute recording sessions, capped to four hours per month. You get one hour of transcription or text to speech, and you get to use the Magic Dust noise removal tool three times per month. If you wanna increase the recording time all the way up to two hours with a total of 12 hours of audio uploads per month, and if you'd like to invite more than one guest, you can upgrade to the monthly plan for $11.99. This gives you access to one host and five interviewees, unlimited use of the magic dust noise removal feature, 10 hours of transcription and text to speech per month and more. There's a pro plan that gives you even more up to 20 hours of monthly audio recording and nine interviewees, 25 hours of transcription and text to speech per month and even an enterprise version for large scale operations. And that gives you multiple user access, 24 seven support, personal training, and even custom feature support. So no matter the size of your audience or level of experience, Podcastle has you covered. Now for the fun stuff, let's take a hands-on look at the interface as I take you through each and every feature of the platform one by one. Let's go ahead and record our first podcast. To get started, launch the Chrome web browser on your computer or mobile device. If you don't have Chrome installed, just Google it and download it for free. Launch the browser and go to the podcastle.ai website. Create an account by entering in your email address and password. If you prefer, you can use Google or Facebook to log in and speed things up. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the main interface of the Podcastle AI platform. Click on new project in the left hand menu and then in the middle of the screen, you'll be presented with a number of options. The first one is to record a podcast using the platform itself. The next icon, as the name implies, is to upload a file to a podcast. So if you already have recorded the audio on another computer or using a different app, then you can bring that into the podcast or platform for the full edit. Next, there is the Revoice feature, which is an amazing tool that allows you to create an audio podcast from a text file. And we'll go into detail on that feature coming up later on in the video. Then the final option is to create an interview with one or more guests. This is the highlight of the platform for me as it makes the whole process of interviewing guests so much easier than ever before. So let's get started by taking a look at just how easy it is to organize and record a podcast with a guest using Podcastle. To get started, simply click on the interview icon. And when you do this, you'll see an invite link appear on the screen. You can click on the copy and paste icon to the right of the link to share it via text or any other medium. Or if you'd like to email your interviewee, you can simply click on the invite by email link below. Enter the email address of your guest and they'll then receive an invite to your podcast or recording session. When they click on the link, no matter what computer or device they're using, they'll be taken directly to the podcast recording session. When they arrive at the landing page, they will most likely be presented with a permission screen asking them if they'd like to allow Podcastle to access their microphone. And of course, they would need to click allow in order to be heard via their microphone. Once they've given access to their microphone, they can then enter their name and email address and in the drop down list below, they can even choose between the internal microphone of their computer or device or any other external microphone that happens to be connected. They would then click on the join interview button and you're both now connected and ready to commence the podcast. The interface is really clean and uncluttered, very easy to understand. You can see the circular icons in the middle of the screen represent each guest in your podcast. And what's great about the icons is that there's an animated waveform around each icon that responds to the audio input so you can visually see when someone is speaking during a podcast. By default, the guest microphone is already on, but if they wanna mute the audio during any time of the recording, they can click on the microphone icon at the bottom middle of the screen to temporarily mute the recording. 
To the right hand side, there is an end call icon and on the bottom left, there's a settings icon. They can use this to change the microphone input and below that they have control over the audio enhancement feature, which by default is set to on to ensure clarity of the recording by removing the background noise and echo. However, if your client has a pro audio setup and would prefer to hear the raw audio, they can just turn this feature off. I would say for most people, they should probably just leave this setting to on to ensure the best sounding audio. So that's what Podcastle looks like from your guest point of view. Let's jump back into my web browser and go over the options you get as the podcast host. The interface looks very much the same as the guest interface. This time, my profile icon is in the left of the screen and the guest is on the right. At the base of the screen, I can also see the mute icon and next to that, there's a start recording button, which I can press to initiate the podcast recording. There's also a timer which shows me the duration of the recording. So if I wanna start the podcast, I would simply click on start recording and the audio would be recorded into the session. If I click on stop recording, the audio is stopped and the guest is still online so you can continue to chat with them and then reinitiate the recording at any time by clicking on start recording again. So once you've completed the podcast, simply click on the end call icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you'll both receive on-screen confirmation that you're done. The guest sees a sign in for free which invites them to sign up to Podcastle to make their own podcasts in the future, which is optional and entirely up to them. As a podcast host, you get a continue editing option which takes you to the podcast podcast editing screen. In the edit window, we can see both the audio tracks that were recorded as individual audio tracks for each guest, lay it up on the timeline. And this is ideal for adjusting the individual level of each audio track. Sometimes you wanna add an intro or outro to a podcast and you can do that here in the edit screen by clicking on the microphone icon at the bottom of the screen and recording your audio as a new track. And then you can move it left or right into any position on the timeline. You can also add some music into your podcast by uploading your favorite music track from your computer. And you can add this onto its own independent track and adjust the volume accordingly. This is probably all you need to know to make an amazing podcast. But for those of you wanting even more control, you can access some advanced features by right clicking on the audio file on each track. If you click on the show options icon, you can adjust the volume to a specific level. If you click on the text editor, you can actually convert the audio to a text file, which is great for submitting closed captions on podcasts for usability and sometimes better performance in search. If you're a pro and you normally do your editing on another platform, then you can download each audio file onto your computer using the download icon. You can duplicate a track, mute the clip, drag the marker to any point in the timeline and split a track. You can also change the speed of your tracks to 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1.5 and two times. This can be used for fun creative effects. Next up is the magic dust feature, which we'll come back to shortly. I've dedicated a whole section on that topic. And there's also the ability to rename a section and delete it. So all of the tools that you would need to put together a professional sounding podcast right here in the Podcastle online interface, which not only makes it easy to use and super efficient, but saves you from having to download or purchase additional audio editing software. One of the biggest issues you'll face when recording podcasts is getting high quality sound, especially when you invite guests in remote locations who may have a noisy environment. Now, Podcastle has an amazing tool called Magic Dust. This is a noise cancelling and speech enhancement feature, which automatically isolates the speech in your podcast and adjusts it to sound flawless. As I mentioned earlier, you can only use it three times per month on a free plan, but you get unlimited access to it on any of the paid plans from the storyteller to the Podcastle Pro plan. To use it, simply navigate to your project by clicking on the edit icon in the project preview window. You'll arrive back at the audio editor interface that we were looking at just before. To apply Magic Dust to any track, simply click on the track itself in the timeline and click on the Magic Dust icon on the bottom left of the screen next to the time and playback control bar. You can also access Magic Dust by right clicking on any track and clicking on the feature that way. Let Magic Dust process the audio and once complete, click on play to hear the difference. This can be a real lifesaver when you're dealing with inferior audio that was recorded in an environment that you have no control over. 
Here is a sample of the Magic Dust filter in action. I'm recording this audio. Here is a sample of the Magic Dust filter in action. I'm recording this audio on my iMac using the built-in microphone, which doesn't really sound that great. It's a 2016 iMac. It's of an older generation, so the quality was never that great. And also I'm sitting back at around 90 centimeters away from the microphone. So it's not an ideal setup for audio. Podcastle has some amazing speech to text and text to speech capabilities. Let me explain. First of all, if you want to get a full transcript of your podcast, you can have Podcastle interpret the audio in your podcast and convert it into a text file. This is ideal for those of you who want to upload a closed caption file to a podcasting platform for better usability or search results. It can also be used in video editing if you want to provide your editor with the on-screen type for them to follow along with. To access this feature, simply go to the edit screen and right click on the audio track you would like to convert into a text file and click on text editor. Your audio track will be converted into text and the copy will appear in the window on the right hand side of the screen. Click on the export tool below and you can choose to export it out as a Word document or PDF file. Now for those of you who really hate the sound of your own voice or perhaps are looking for a faster way to produce content, you can take advantage of the text to speech feature in Podcastle and this is the exact opposite of what we just did in the previous step. It allows us to convert written content into a vocal track. Now I must say I've never been a big fan of this type of content. It can sound a little bit like a robo voice, but I know there's a big demand for this type of content, if nothing else, because it saves so much time and effort. You can access this feature in one of two ways. Firstly, you can create a new project and in the icons that appear in the middle of the screen, click on the revoice feature. Or if you want to use it in an existing project, simply open up your podcast in the edit mode and create a new track. Click on the text to podcast icon, which is the last one in the toolbar in the bottom middle of the screen and type your text into the window on the right hand side. If you have a large passage of text that has already been written or if you wanna use the text file you just created from your original vocal recording, simply copy and paste it into this window and click on generate. Your text will now be converted into a vocal recording. Let's take a listen to the example. Welcome to the Touch Technology Review Podcast. If you want to try out some different voices, click on the circular icon in the text field area and a submenu appears with different voices and personalities available. You can choose either male or female options, each with their own personalized style and accent. Hey, your story deserves to be heard and I can help bring it to life. Hey, your story deserves to be heard. And hey, your story deserves to be heard and I can help bring it to life. Hey, your story does. Hey, your story does. Hey, your story deserves to. Hey, your story deserves to be heard, and I can help bring it to life. Hey, your story. Hey, your story does. Hey, your story. Hey, your story deserves to be heard, and. Hey, your story deserves to be heard, and I can help bring it to life. Not bad at all. You know what? It's much better than I originally expected it would be. As I said earlier, I'm not usually a big fan of this type of automated approach, but I think these voices sound pretty decent. There's even a Chrome extension that lets you transform text on any website into compelling audio podcasts. To use this, simply install the free Chrome extension, go to the website you want to translate into an audio podcast, click on the extension, and your podcast will be generated from the web browser. In closing, there are a couple of other things that I wanted to point out about the platform. Firstly, you can use it as a soloist to record and edit your podcast and take advantage of the improved sound quality and advanced editing features, or you can use it to bring multiple guests together into your podcast. These guests are most likely gonna be accessing the podcast in remote locations, but you could also consider using it in the one location and it works exactly the same way. With each guest in the same room, they can simply click on the invite link that you send them and open it up on their computer or device. The only thing to note when you're using it in close proximity to one another is to ensure that you're using a set of headphones in order to avoid any feedback from each guest going into the microphone of those guests. So that's just a little tip if you are using it in the one room. 
But as I mentioned, most people are probably gonna be using the solution with remote guests. Last but not least is the audio quality of the platform. It's a recording in 48 kilohertz wave file format, which is a professional audio standard. So it means that you get high quality audio at all times. The other advantage of doing this is that the recording is going onto your local device so that if there's any dropout over the internet connection, you have got the original audio file coming directly from the device without any interruption or dropout. So a great solution for those of you looking at conducting those remote interview podcasts. If you're interested in the platform, as I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link to the Podcastle AI website in the description box below. And as always, if you have any questions about the content you've seen here today, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. And if you enjoy the video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.